I, 29F, opened our marriage because I wasn't satisfied in bed anymore, now my husband, 31M, doesn't want to close it. I never thought I'd find myself here, but I really need to vent. I'm Sarah, 29F, and my husband is Mark, 31M. This is a story about how my own selfishness might have torn our marriage apart, and I'm starting to realize just how poorly I handled everything. Mark and I have been together for seven years, married for four. From the outside, we looked like the perfect couple, stable jobs, a lovely home, and we rarely fought. But there was an elephant in the room that I didn't want to acknowledge, I was bored, especially in the bedroom. Our sex life, our time in the bed, had become so predictable that it felt like clockwork, he doesn't satisfy my needs anymore, he can't make me finish even once now. It was more routine than romance, and I wasn't getting what I needed. I loved Mark, but over time, intimacy morphed into something more akin to a chore, and I started feeling trapped. I tried everything I could think of to fix it, new toys, lingerie, spontaneous trips. But no matter how hard I tried, Mark seemed stuck in his ways. He's always been the kind of guy who enjoys a routine, and it felt like he wasn't willing to budge. Instead of addressing my feelings or seeking help, I started to feel resentment toward him. I didn't want to become that person who quietly seethes while waiting for things to change. Then, one night, after a couple of glasses of wine, definitely mistake number one, I casually suggested an open relationship. I honestly believed it could save us, that it would reignite the spark that had gone out. I thought I was being brave, adventurous, and open-minded. But looking back, I can see now that I was being incredibly selfish. I effectively told my husband, you're not enough for me, so let's find someone else who can meet my needs. Mark's reaction was explosive. He was furious, heartbroken, and confused, and in tears. I could see the hurt in his eyes. I tried to backtrack, saying it wasn't about him being bad in bed, because he wasn't OE because his Peppa W. But the damage was done. I didn't know how to fix it, and instead of supporting him through his feelings, I leaned into my own desires. After days of emotional wrangling, I managed to convince him to try it, leveraging his love for me and our history. I thought I was being fair, after all, I claimed I wanted to explore new experiences, not just cheat. So we opened our marriage, and I dove into the new lifestyle headfirst. I met Jake, 32M, through a friend, and it was exhilarating. Jake was spontaneous, adventurous, and incredibly fun in bed. He made me feel alive again, which, let's be honest, I desperately craved. I reveled in the excitement and attention, feeling desired in a way I hadn't in years. It was intoxicating, and I enjoyed every second of it. I could finally let go of the frustration I felt in my marriage, even if it was at Mark's expense. As I spent more time with Jake, I became more reckless. I started lying about my whereabouts, telling Mark I was working late or out with friends when I was really with Jake. It was thrilling and made me feel alive, but I was also being deceitful. My marriage became more of an afterthought. I figured, as long as I was happy, everything else would fall into place, right? At first, Mark seemed to adapt. Our sex life improved slightly, maybe because I wasn't pressuring him for everything anymore. I thought we had struck a balance, but deep down, I wasn't being honest with myself. I was enjoying my new freedom so much that I didn't notice how much I was neglecting Mark. He was supportive, almost to a fault, but I could see him growing quieter, more withdrawn. I didn't want to acknowledge it, I was too busy having fun. I thought I was empowering us both. Then came the turning point. After a few months, Mark met Emma, 28F. I remember the first time he mentioned her casually. I'm going out with Emma, he said, and I laughed it off, thinking he was finally getting into the swing of this open relationship. But as weeks went by, I noticed he was spending more nights out and texting her frequently. Suddenly, I found myself feeling uncomfortably jealous. I was the one who opened this door, yet here I was feeling betrayed. Mark was genuinely enjoying himself, and I hated that I felt that way. How could I, after what I had put him through? I wanted to be supportive, but I couldn't shake the feeling that I was losing him. The more time he spent with Emma, the more I felt like I was slipping away. 
Eventually, I realized that what I really wanted was to close our marriage. I missed the intimacy we used to share, the quiet moments, the warmth of just being with him. I was ready to turn back, but I also knew that I had played a significant role in this unraveling. When I finally approached Mark to talk about closing the marriage, I was hopeful. I thought he'd be relieved, ready to return to what we once had. But Mark surprised me. He didn't want to close it. He told me he loved the freedom he found and felt less pressured to meet my needs. The man who had once been hesitant about this arrangement was now thriving, and I was left speechless. I felt like a complete fool. How did it come to this? I had opened Pandora's box, and I wanted to shut it tight, but it was too late. Now I'm left feeling like a monster. I opened our marriage, thinking it would solve our issues, but all it did was magnify them. Mark was enjoying a new life without me, and I was stuck grappling with the consequences of my own choices. I didn't want him to be unhappy, but I also didn't want to share him. I feel torn between wanting to fix my mistakes and realizing that I might have ruined the one thing I claimed to cherish. So here I am, seeking advice. Did I completely screw everything up because I was too caught up in my own desires? Is there a way to salvage our marriage, or have I pushed him away for good? I feel lost, desperate for clarity, but I know deep down that I'm the one who created this mess. How do I even begin to make it right? Am I the a hole for bringing up divorce for my wife cheating after I cheated years ago? Advice needed. My wife and I have been together for 12 years and married for 9. We have a 8-year-old and a 4-year-old. I had an affair with a mutual friend about a year after my 4-year-old was born and I regret it. She was leaving with her husband to Germany and I hadn't had sex for over a year because my wife did not want any sexual contact after the birth and we slept together six times. I assumed my wife wouldn't find out but she told my ex a year after our affair from Germany because she felt guilty and was leaving her husband. She either wanted to take me down with her or she assumed we would divorce and we might get together. Either way, I graveled and begged my wife's forgiveness. She wanted to divorce, but didn't. I know she stayed, mainly because of how hard it is to be a single mom, and I hoped she would eventually forgive me. She asked that I agree to let her have an affair like I did with someone of her choosing as a condition of staying married, and I stupidly agreed because I didn't think she would actually do it. It's been a long road, but I honestly thought she forgave the affair. We have been raising our children and having regular sex. We bought a house together and moved to be close to her parents. I thought this was behind us. Four months ago, she told me she was having an affair with my newly divorced friend. I was absolutely shocked and angry, but she reminded me I agreed and I did, but man it sucks. She is way more manipulative than I thought possible, because she waited until one of my close friends was divorced. I tried not to show it, but I was livid and I feel so hurt. Yes I know it's ironic, because I cheated first. She has since finished the affair and told me it was the same length and number of experiences as mine. I haven't talked to that friend and I have no idea if I can ever again. He never reached out, so I assume it's the end of that friendship. I'm thinking of a divorce, because clearly she never forgave me and I can't forgive her for this. I brought up divorce and she got mad and reminded me I gave her a free affair card years ago. I told her clearly by this it meant she hasn't forgiven me, and she said she had forgiven me the second she had her affair. Am I the a whole for cheating on my husband? Over six months ago, my, 36F, husband, 37M, asked for an open relationship after 14 years together. I didn't like the idea, and it turned out he had already started an affair with his co-worker. I tried to at least set some boundaries around what this open relationship would look like but he violated every one. He then decided we would have a don't ask, don't tell open relationship. Two months ago, he told me he wanted to divorce me for this other woman. We're still cohabiting for the time being, and have yet to file for divorce, for practical reasons, though I have fully accepted it as happening. We had been doing so amicably until last week. Shortly after my husband told me he wanted a divorce, I met someone unexpectedly. It's progressed into something romantic only within the past couple of weeks, and nothing physical has happened yet, nor will any time soon. 
I assumed my husband suspected something, but since we were separated and he was with someone else, I wasn't about to bring it up. I was on the phone with this person, behind a locked door in my bedroom, when my husband barged in to ask about dinner. It was early afternoon, and he already had dinner plans with our daughter. He must have been standing outside the door, because he overheard some of the, admittedly spicy, conversation on the phone. He was furious with me, and has mostly been giving me the silent treatment since. He was upset that I was having such a conversation while he and our daughter were in the house, though he's done the same with his girlfriend, that I had moved on so fast, etc. I was really shocked by this. Not only did I think he already at least suspected, and had seemed fine with it, but doesn't want me anymore, so why is he upset that someone else does? He is behaving as if, and seems to believe, on some level, that I'm cheating on him. I've never seen him so upset, and I feel very bad. Have I done something wrong? Is he right to be so upset? Ada? TLDR My soon-to-be ex-husband is upset that I'm already moving on, as we are still legally married, but I've had permission to see other people for over six months. This was also his third, that I know of, affair. I have never cheated, until now.